don't look until maybe we get right over here just so it's a grand reveal. <laughs> just stay looking this way. I can already see it out of my peripherals. <laughs> Hello, we're this way. Oh my god. <laughs> Shoot and log. <laughs> <laughs> I see you over there. Yes, you. Come on over and let Voltar be sharing with you your fortune. So it was the tail end of summer, and I was living in this old cottage down by the ocean with my good friend Mason. It's his family's cottage, and it was undergoing some very serious repairs that were going to take months but I was able to sneak home on the weekends and spend time with Ali, Mowgli, and the Wildflower Hills. We were on a spree of getting up early, and it felt good to be making the most of these fleeting summer days, as before we knew it, the leaves would be turning along the roadsides. And back at the house, the drainage Jared and I had installed was giving me hope. It just absolutely downpoured. It seemed like an inch of rain in 10 minutes. Let's check out the basement. So in the past, this would all be water. It would come in from this side, which is the big, slant in the roof flood all the way through in through this area and i don't see any water got no more water pooling up around the whole perimeter when i was younger i wouldn't have even understood this now as an adult good drainage gets me excited it's pouring out nicely done jared and some new old tools arrived in the mail to keep the creative juices flowing <laughs> this thing shoot in log. It reminds me of when I used to do this when I was a little kid with my dad's all the time. Yeah. He always had that thing rolling. I came up with it, but I'd never seen it before that I remember. But now it's inhibited in it. It's in. <laughs> it's in. <laughs> and I got a new distributor for Old Blue since the old one had melted up. The induction fires are connected to the number one spark plug. Should be close enough. All right. Um, well, can't quite get her to fire. She was close one time, but. Not enough. Do a little bit more research here. I'm gonna do the reverse light switch on the van now. It'd probably be useful to have the headlamp. Where is it? And since Allie and I only had two days together every week, we had lots to do before I took off for the ocean again. Hmm. <laughs> First signs of fall. And back at the cabin, Allie was working hard to finish the cedar shakes. Oh, that's really nice. Looks great. Nice job. Holy smokes, there's so many. And then you had to close your eyes and I'll show you. Don't look yet. Why? Close your eyes, because I wanted to just fit it. Wow, you got so far. Holy crap. Oh my god! Really good job. <laughs> Your paw! 
Hey, Mal! He's <laughs> all excited. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, mouse! Wow! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> and Allie's cabin garden was beginning to yield. And I daydreamed of autumn and the pluming wood stove, as this would be our first fall in the finished cabin. <laughs> Boy, I just, you know, I, you, I'll do it. And after a lot of looking around for something to plow the long driveway at the house, I settled on a work truck that would not only keep the snow cleared, but would allow us to move material and tow anything we needed, like Old Blue, for example. This was a strong old machine that would make life a lot easier. <laughs> I can't believe I own a diesel dump truck. <laughs> Maki? He's gonna study the mice for a little longer. What is he about to jump off the table? I literally see it. It's right. It's right here, Kyle. Where? It's looking right at me. What? Come here. Come here. Quick. Can you see it? Yeah. It's waiting for us to move so it can go up there and do it. My fall coffee blends are now live. This is the earliest they've ever been available. We've got Red October and Harvest Moon. And these are absolutely delicious coffees. This isn't just some YouTube gimmick. This is real deal, organic, fair trade beans that are air roasted, which most coffee is not air roasted. It's made by the Pierce Brothers. They have a little facility in Western Massachusetts. It's a family owned business. This is some of the best coffee you can buy. I am beyond grateful to even be a part of it. I've also got a decaf blend called Easy Does It. I've been drinking this a lot lately. You would never know this is decaf. It's so good. All of this coffee is great. When you buy the coffee, you support this channel. You make these stories possible. Troutandcoffee.com. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're ever looking where to find the coffee, just go to troutandcoffee.com. I'll always leave a link in the video description. You just scroll down until you see air roasted coffee. All the ways you can support this channel are always on troutandcoffee.com. So if you're ever wondering, just head there. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. And now back to the story. And the cabin property was alive and well with summer blooms. Wow. <laughs> and that one's rotten, but the rest are good, so. Okay. Thanks. I wonder if you can still pick blueberries. And so we made our rounds on these weekends, trying to balance productivity with pleasure and savoring our time together. And the little red house was beaming with August color. We just had it. We had it running. We found Top Dead Center and lined up the distributor to cylinder number one. It was running rough though, and started the timing light, and I couldn't even see the mark showing up. It was so far off, so I, I don't know. We're just trying to figure it out as we go. I'm gonna try it again, ready? Yeah, see. <laughs> oh, and it also just goes
goes to show, it's like, yeah, I have. And we snuck off to some of our favorite haunts for a good bite and a cold drink and talked about work and creativity and all the excitement for the months ahead. saying about the cheese, like Parmesan or something else. Monday morning at 5 a.m., I'd rise and fly to the ocean cottage, where the starter needed to be fed and loads of satisfying work needed to be done. We were setting up the staging that would go around the old chimney. We needed a very safe and sturdy platform that would allow us to take the chimney down carefully, stone by stone, as the good stones were being saved and the old mortar was being separated and put into the trailer. And while the staging was thoughtfully assembled, there would be breaks to think more and take care of other things that needed to be done in order to get the structure back to square, like take out the old doors and windows and build a temporary support wall. and you could see just how much the old cracked and sinking chimney had offset the structure. And after long days full of work, I'd take time to soak in my new ocean home.
The very first day I was uneasy on the ladders and the scaffolding, but a few days in, the platform felt like home. And I was learning so many different things from Mason every day on the job. <laughs> He had a lot of creative ideas on how to make the chimney demolition very efficient. So there were memorable evenings and early mornings behind the computer to keep my business running. And overall, I was in a really good place. I felt inspired and creative, yet was completely dedicated to the construction job at hand, ready to work my hardest and learn as much as possible. I was making a different kind of dough every week and looking forward to learning more about baking with this renewed consistency. Mason and I talked a lot about life and work and consistency and how the best way to get good at anything is to do it every day, even if only for a little bit. It's not always about total hours clocked, but rather the frequency and quality of those hours. When something becomes a part of your daily life, it's only a matter of time until it becomes second nature. You remember these? A little camcorder, huh? <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in about 10 years. Staging, scaffold, fresh paint, I like that. No, oh, yeah. Spiffs the place up a bit. I haven't seen any safety glasses. And eventually, we got set up very well. We just needed some permits to come through before we could begin. And in a way, it would be sad to see the old chimney go. 
the top half was built leaning to one side and had begun to sink, and it was taking the house down with it. And with a giant crack in the base, there was no real way to repair it or build on top of it. So in order to save the whole structure and make it strong for many years to come, we would remove the chimney, patch the walls, replace all the sinking footings, and jack and pull the structure back into square. And we'd save all the old chimney stones to be used on some project down the line. Being a sucker for old beautiful things, I asked Mason a lot of questions about the reasoning and planning of removing the chimney as opposed to repairing it. And when explained from a masonry and structural point of view, there really was no other option. So we took Mason's decked out canoe a ways offshore to look for fish for dinner. And while the visibility underwater wasn't great, and I wasn't brave enough to jump in yet, Mason was killing it with the spear. And I knew it was only a matter of time before I had to make a serious go at it. <laughs> Having a fear of deep open water, this would be another uncomfortable thing where I'd have to push through and discover. And there were many days where we had some of the freshest fish I had ever eaten. How come you need the flour and the panko? It's just nice and thick. And during one week, it rained a lot and we were still waiting for permits. And so I worked on my videos, and Mason worked on the back end details of the project. There, so we're just going to leave that pair and put these ones adjacent to it and span that with. This is a little overkill. We may forego that, but regardless. Which part? This steel. Oh. Channel that spans these two. We might just cut that in half. And we'd continue setting everything up whenever the weather would break. It was wild seeing all the different ideas and techniques come together to support the structure during the renovations. And when we were off the clock, we were on the ocean as Mason showed me around the shores that he spent a lot of time at as a kid. These are big birds. Get out of here. <laughs> belly up. One of my favorite spots was the stone beach that sounded like a Native American rain stick.
It was kind of a slow week here. We had to wait for demolition permit for the chimney and building permit for everything else that has to happen and set up more staging and wait for some other materials to become available. So didn't really do much building wise this week. I spent a lot of the week editing my video and working on some fitness and Mason was doing all that back end stuff. So it's Friday and I'm heading home to pick up the trooper from the shop. It just got tuned up real good. I'm gonna, I've been researching all week on how to finally retime Old Blue. I think I've got it down, so I'm excited to try that. Bunch of other little things to tackle and check out, and uh, it'll be a nice little weekend. And then when I come back next week, we're going all in on the chimney and everything else that needs to happen here. And we still couldn't get Old Blue to fire, but I ran into something else by happenstance that could transform our lives even further. I didn't pull the trigger, but it was the best deal I had come across in months of research. I finished the Cedar Shakes the other day. Kyle hasn't seen it yet. I mean, I've barely seen it. Let's run through the night. I can hear music. Take down that boat. Lead her on. And then Allie finished the shakes, and I was so proud of her. It looked incredible, and it was such a relief to have that done after all these years. Now we could tackle some more important projects, like the bathroom situation. And we continued our streak of waking up early, and soaking up every minute of these beautiful summer days. hard to believe how strong fall was creeping in already. Chasing one of her longtime dreams, Allie had a look at an old pickup truck of her own. It's like this is a custom bumper today. Yeah, new bumper. It's not shutting. 
I mean, it doesn't close tight, but I think it also might have to do with the... Uh, but like the suspension feels doing? good. Yeah. I just have to make a really solid list of everything that we need to get done. And while it was a cool old truck, the title had been botched and it wasn't worth the hassle. Hello, mister. <laughs> and so the hunt would continue. Try to get too much sauce on that. And then came time for one of my favorite things in the world, the late August country fair. Where are we going, baby? Allie and I went with Jared and Greer, and we had a beautiful night full of rain, rainbows, and golden light. I was grateful for every second of this late summer sensory feast, though this fair is always the first signal of the end of summer. Every year seems like it flies by quicker than the last. You spend all winter daydreaming about everything you'll do that upcoming summer, and by the time you get started actually doing those things and catch a groove, September knocks at the door and she's selling autumn scarves. It's always sad to see summer go. The long days full of sunshine and productivity, the barefoot freeness and the constant touch of cold water on skin, the wildflowers, the golden fields, and the dusty roads. It's all so much to take in, yet it happens so fast. But now you could feel the change coming, and the most exciting time of year was afoot. And the following Monday morning, Mason and I would begin the hardest part of the project yet. But for a few more hours, I had the smell of fried dough and manure in my nostrils and the growing moon smiling down on me from the blue sky. I was excited for the months ahead, and I was grateful for the feeling that I was exactly where I needed to be. (laughs) 